There's two trends I'm really fascinated by right now in AI. The first being how good the Llama model is and how many AI keeps putting millions of dollars into it and then just giving it away to the public for free. And the second is how good the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model is at doing software development. And it keeps getting new updates to make it even better. And now there's a bunch of tools coming out that build on top of the Claude model that make it even better for building apps. So in this video, I'm gonna take two of those. I'm gonna take Bolt and Cursor, and I'm gonna build an application. And then I'm gonna power that application with the Llama 3.5 model using the Grok API for free. Let's go. Let's start out in Bolt, which is a new tool that uses AI to build complete applications for you. And start off with the prompt, landing page for app using Next.js and ShadCN for an off-grid supply company. And we'll ask it to use dark mode too. Now it's gonna start building it. And two important things from that prompt, we asked it to use Next.js, which is a very popular React-based framework. And then I find we'll make it much easier in the long run. And I'll show you that later in the video. Also Shad CN, which gives you a nice looking UI components like buttons, toggles, menus, all that kind of stuff. and can be very easily implemented. And I find these UI components work the best with AI software development like Bolt. So that took about three minutes, but I still watch in awe as it builds this stuff. I find this really cool. And the cool thing about Bolt, it actually runs a development environment right in your browser. So it actually ran the application for us. But at this point, you're likely to see a bunch of warnings in the console. And this is an area of concern for these AI software development tools. So in this case, there's a bunch of deprecated packages. And many times this is because the large language models that powers this only sees back to a certain cutoff date, like 2023, for example. So we'll use old versions of things. In this case, it even tried to use one with a memory leak, which isn't good. And remember what we're doing here. We're trying to build a foundation for this application. So we want this part not to use deprecated packages, if at all possible. So to get around that, you just simply copy these warnings back into the chat and often it's gonna resolve them. All right, so let's look at the site itself and let's take stock of what it is actually built for us. So it's a nice, simple app. It's broken down nicely into components at the code level. It's responsive, meaning it can be viewed on small screens and big screens. It even has dark mode built in. It's all built using Next.js and ShadCN. So I'm really happy with this as a foundation. So you can export it by going to open in stack blitz over here. And in there, they have a download button. Now I'm gonna to switch to Cursor AI to do the more complicated work of integrating the application with AI. In this case, Llama 3.2. Cursor is a code editor that has AI capabilities deeply embedded into it. So you'll see it everywhere throughout using Cursor. But unlike Bolt, it doesn't run everything on a browser, it actually runs everything locally. So the first step I do is just load all the prereqs, run npm install, and then actually run the application locally. So you can do that with npm run dev, and it should work in the same way as it did in Bolt. Just now it's gonna load the application locally. So you can make sure everything works still. So next I'm gonna select all the files that need to be updated and select add to composer. And composer is my favorite tool to use in cursor because it'll edit the selected files that, these are all the relevant files we selected here, but it'll add new files to complete the task. So we're gonna add our prompt, which is basically add a back end to this. And so when the user clicks contact, they're gonna get an AI chatbot that connects to the latest version of Llama using Grok, which is a really fast and free way to access a Llama API. And Next.js makes it so easy. As we see here, it created a route.ts file, which it knows is a backend API. It knows that automatically you don't have to do anything for that. So now let's just try to run it without an API key or anything and just see if it actually tries to connect to Grok and uses the tries to use the Llama 3 model. Okay, so I click on contact, I just try to write a message and now we get an API key error, which is exactly what we expected. But the actual user interface looks good. So let's just go get that API key and see if it actually works. So I'll leave a link in the description of where to get that Grok API key. But all you have to do is just get in there, create the API key, copy and paste it into the placeholder the AI left behind. And while we're in the Grok console, Let's also grab the latest Meta AI Llama model. And what you wanna look for in this list here in the playground is the latest model with the highest parameter count. And as of this recording, it's Llama 3.2 with a 90 billion parameter, and we want text. And then when you selected that in the list, you can say view code here and just copy that model. And then we can paste that into our code. Cause cursor will usually give us an older model as it did here. So you definitely wanna update it with the latest one from Grok. Okay, let's just try it out. And I'm getting nothing back. One hour later. So in this case, this is because the AI libraries from Vercel have actually changed a lot over time. And in the AI's knowledge base, like I was saying, it only goes back to late 2023 for Claude Sonnet. So it didn't have all the information it needed to do this backend properly. And the fix is actually pretty easy, something I showed you done originally. If you actually go to Vercel's AI Playground, and that's the libraries we're using in this case, you can just go in there and copy the code from there. 
it gives you the entire backend root.ts file for Next.js. And of course, once I did that, I updated the model to the latest one and it worked right away. So now when I ask the AI how it's doing, I get a response back right away. So the API is working, we're connected to Llama, we're getting the response back, we've got a nice UI going here. So now we just gotta customize it for what we want. So to do that, I'm gonna go back into cursor, I'm gonna right click on the route.ts file, and I can say add files to new composer. Because this is the only file we need to update right now. The other ones aren't relevant for this change. So let's just say add this as instructions on what this AI chatbot will do, saved in a separate instructions file. And then I say you're a helpful expert in off-grid supplies, and you're gonna help the customer and make sure to recommend this week's special sale. And then just paste in what the sale is and some specs on the solar panel. I also put in some reviews here so it can use that to help inform the customer better. So this is just an example of one product, but if you're doing this for a business, you could just put your whole catalog of sales or whatever you want to promote that week to help boost those sales. So here we see it added chat instructions and then it passes them in here. And this will be the first system message that comes in the chat. So let's start the chatbot off with the right information. So let's just accept all. Okay, so let's try it out now. So if we say contact and let's just say, I need a new solar panel. And notice how fast it comes back from Grok without streaming. So it's doing exactly what we asked. It's really promoting that solar panel we had on sale there. And it's giving us all the key information on it. And one of my reviews, I did put in some of the negative feedback on it. Let's just see if it'll give us that. I'm gonna say, what are the downsides of the unit? And then it structures it nicely. It says one of the customers mentioned that the cable provided for the panel is not long enough for his needs. It's actually really good at sales. And at the end it says, don't forget this panel is currently on sale, which is great value considering the features and performance. So it's really doing a good job of trying to sell that panel we, we described. So that's pretty impressive considering AI built all of that. I didn't do any coding myself. And also being powered by AI using the Llama 3.2 model with Grok for free is pretty powerful. So a couple of things where I take it next, I think I'm gonna add authentication to it. So then only customers of who sign up for an account can log in and use it. And also that way you can load their past buying history or history with the company into the chatbot to give them even more customized user experience. I'd also think about instead of just adding the custom instructions, I might fine tune the Llama model to really make it specialized for this use case. I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.